Hey, Mike the Marketing Medic here, and I'm just walking down the road to uh, pick up my ATV because I left in the meadow when I went to get the horses. But a couple minutes ago, I was speaking to one of my clients, and he wanted to run some ideas by me. Now, here's the thing. I spoke to him a couple days ago, and he presented me with a solid plan, something that he really wanted to do so that made total sense and something that we needed to start taking action on right away. And now I hear from him today, and he's got a different idea. He's got something that is not a bad idea, but it's not the right time in the sequence for building his business. So think about anything that you've ever been successful for. Let's think about, I don't know, let's say you've got a job and let's say you go to work in the morning. So you succeed at getting to the office, okay? That's what you do, that's a success. Now imagine if you went to the office the way entrepreneurs run their businesses. Like, I, like, to get to the office, you need to wake up, right? You need to go to the bathroom. You need to put on some clothes. You need to have your breakfast. You need to go out to the car. You need to start your car. You know, you need to drive to work. Now, that's how you succeed at getting to the office. What a lot of entrepreneurs do is they get out of bed, and then they get in the car. <laughs> then they realize they have no clothes, so they have to go back inside, and they get dressed, then they go to the car and they decide that maybe they're gonna walk, but then they forgot they have to go to the bathroom, so they go inside, and then they forget where they were going in the first place, and it's just an endless cycle. Then they maybe they get in the car, this happens to a lot of entrepreneurs, they get in the car, they're driving to the office, they're four blocks away from their office, they're four blocks away from success, and what do they do? They turn around and they go home because they decide they're gonna ride their try riding their bike, you know, and then they get there and the bike has a flat tire. Anyway, that's too long a metaphor, but it's so important to come up with a plan and stick to the plan. Um, I haven't heard too many bad plans. I honestly haven't heard too many bad plans. What I've seen is a lot of failure because people don't stick to the plan that they come up with. So um, when I was doing my corporate team building training, that was one of the most important things I talked about is coming up with your strategy for, for whatever work project you had and then sticking to that plan. I think as an entrepreneur, you, got, you guys got to do that too. So, you know what? What I'd recommend doing is taking a day, two days a week to really identify what your destination is. So, my previous metaphor, you're trying to get to the office, right? So, what is the office? What is your end goal? And then come up with all the steps that are going to get you there, okay? Don't worry about getting a promotion, okay? <laughs> that's, what, that's what my client was just doing now. He was trying to, talk, he was talking about how to impress his boss before he even got to the office. Don't do that. Come up with your plan, stick to the plan. If you're running into problems along the way, find solutions for those problems, but stick to the plan um, that she came up with. All right, that's my little three minute message for today. Hope it's helpful. And I'll just, uh, let's do a 360 of my neighborhood so you can see where I live. This is my house. That's the field. It's funny, see the power lines above there? I got power lines, high tension power lines going right across the street from my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm off grid. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy. Anyway, that's Mike, the marketing medic, over and out, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye bye. Hey guys, I was in the gym this morning, uh, I was working out, and I was thinking about that video that I recorded last night, that one you just watched with me walking to the, to the meadow. And I realized that for a lot of new online marketers, you might not know the steps that you need to take to get to your destination. So if you don't even know the, the, the steps, how, how are you going to get there? And it's a lot easier in that case to get distracted, all right? So what I did is I put together a three-page standard operating procedure. Standard operating procedures is what uh, we use in the fire department all the time. By having an SOP and made sure that you follow the steps in the order that, need, that they need to be followed in and that you got the results that you wanted to get. So I put together the uh, SOP that I follow that you guys can use as well just to help you stay on track, just to help you know what's important and just to help you know uh, what you need to be doing and when you need to be doing it. All right, so I hope that document helps you out. Um, there's a link right there to, to get it. It's, it's completely free. You can, uh, you can grab that link and download it. And uh, if it helps you, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please join uh, the Marketing Medic Facebook group and share your stories. All right, gang, uh, I hope that helps. And I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.